you start off. Thank you. Welcome back to Is It Wrong to Check Up Girls in a Dungeon Anime Review Episode Number Thirty Three. This is viewing the 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 forty eighth episode of the anime Endless. Uh, it's brutal endless. I think that's uh, endless brutal. Okay. Now this episode does finish up adapting chap uh, book thirteen. It's completely all adapted. Yeah, they just finished adapting this book. It's all adapted now. Yep. Now, <clears throat> before I talk about the episode itself, I do have a small announcement to make. That, well, one uh, the announcement is there will not be a new review for this next week. Uh, purely for uh, there's actually a good reason for it. Well, apparently this episode was the end of Kerr one of this season. Yes. I mean, I knew the season would be 22 episodes. Apparently, they, I did not know this until a few days ago. Apparently, they're going to split this season in half. Yes, for some reason, they're doing this. This is also the first time this series has ever done this. What I've done to Curs for a series. Maybe because it's over 20 episodes, it's possible. But apparently, this one is the mid season finale. Okay. So, what happens in the episode? Well, first, pick up where Bell is. Well, nearly got his neck broken. No, Lou does check on him. Apparently, his neck did not break. The Goliath scarf actually protect him. And at one point, he falls in the water where Mare decides to use her blood to basically, well, put his arm back on. It got chopped off last episode. And apparently, get back his knife and heal up all of his other wounds. Before I continue with this, there's a brief scene uh, with uh, a couple of brief scenes with with the rest of the group where they're basically waiting on them but can't go down just yet. And then, of course, they pop up at the end of the episode where, because of the stuff related to what's going on in the main plot, that the four bosses shown up, even though it's supposed to be not responding for two weeks. Apparently, Monster Rex is the creature's name. And it's a two-headed rat. It's a two-headed monster. Yep, and that's all it for for that group. They're only in there for like just a couple scenes. So, after Bell recovers, he of course fights the Juggernaut. Of course, Lou herself gets injured too, and it, Bell puts up a really good fight. At one point, it takes like close combat, stabs it several times, very successfully too. And going to try to use magic on it, but Lucky basically turns to. Try to use fireball on it. That you know doesn't reflect, but it do, does turn. He does turn the power into his into his knife, his Hesse knife. <clears throat> we use his other attack out of her floor, where he proceeds to use on it, and then you think it's done, and then all of a sudden now we see Jura. Yes, the monster tamer. He's still around. Also, when Bell is in the water, the other adventurers are there. Some of them get killed off here. At least about three or four of them get get massacred by this creature. Then when uh, Bell basically looks like he's about to finish a blow on this creature, Jira comes along and gives him devices to control it. And it doesn't work. It works. Actually, it does work briefly. And then you think that, oh yeah, it's ordered to, to kill Lou. And then it proceeds to chop Jura in half. Killing him. And then apparently... The command not go to to Juggernaut, but also, but it went to the loose uh, the the lump and snake, where it basically you have Lou looks like she's about to be gobbled up by the creature, but like a bell basically steps in, and then, then they fall down. Though there is a flashback of where Ellie, where she's telling Bell about the thirty seventh floor, where the other floors the walls look different. And that 37th floor is chalk white. So they refer to it as the White Palace. Oh, you didn't make it down there. The way they describe it, it's a very dangerous place. And, of course, then we see the Lumberton Snake there. And, of course, Bell gets out of the creature using the fire bolt. Takes several times. And apparently, it sort of got, almost got swallowed by the creature. But apparently, it falling down these many floors. Falling down roughly 10 floors. 10 floors. And then Bell, when he sees the chalk white stuff, like, oh crap, we're in the White Palace. We're in the D floors. They're on the 37th floor. And he hears growls you've never heard before. 
<clears throat> this is probably by far at this point in the series. This is the furthest he's ever gone. Floor 37. And, and it's also kind of dark too-ish. And that's the episode. It's a really good episode. Thoroughly enjoy it. And apparently we're going to get some new characters. He has a brand new adventure is going to pop up. And apparently book 14 is going to be taking up 11 straight episodes. Which probably for this series. This is probably going to be the one book that takes up the highest number of ep episodes to date. Because the shortest was book 4. Where they have that roughly one episode. I'd say second shortest is probably book Number eight was only just a couple episodes, but it was actually a lot they cut from the book. Now, this season, pacing wise, is really good. They do a fantastic job with the pacing. Oh, by the way, there is a brief scene of Ayn, uh, L. Ayn, the, the woman who Bell inspires to, uh, inspired to be like, and she, her, she's basically here as an illusion. And by the way, that's her only appearance the entire arc because she's not in book 14. Nope. Uh, she, she may get a mention or two, but she does not make a physical appearance. Not that I can think of, no. She does appear in book 15. Yes, she does. Now, in case you're curious, though, what the heck is she doing in this period of time? You have to read the Sword of Roya books, which sadly we won't get in their season of because according to a rumor I heard apparently no one watched the the one other season sort of Roy that the, the spin-off anime got the spin-off series got for an anime where that was that would have the first four books now yes they're doing basically book 14 probably for 11 straight episodes but if they can wait for a certain period of time do another season per se, Perhaps J.C. Stapp can, can basically figure doing another season of Sword of Roria. In case you're curious, though, for that one. They have roughly eight books left to adapt. So they can probably squeeze out at least about two or three more seasons out of the show. That's if they want. The books themselves are not very long. Not, not as long as the parent series, per se. Also, I think that there is a possibility for this season. That along with adapting, well, book 14... They're probably also going to adapt the episode Lou light novel. That might be mixed in here too for flashback purposes. It's possible. I personally don't own the book per se. But I do own book 14. Yeah. Now in case you're curious though. Uh, when I. That. If they got this book. Do I have the previous 12 books? Not entirely. I do have books 10 through 12. I don't have. The first 9 books. I just don't have a desire to buy them. Now, there have been some books where I do own all the books for them released so far. For them. Now, the only two I did buy them after I read them, so I read them, but I did go, went back and bought the rest, and that was only two. A Freya and and then my smartphone. That was simply it. Just those two books. Series. But aside from these two books, the only book series I own all the books released them, so we're in English, aside from these two is Detectives Already Dead, Death Marks of Combatants Will Be Dispatched, Cautious Hero, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Those are the only series I could personally think of why on all the books released here for it. If you're going to ask me personally, what is the highest book series number, number of books I own for? It's a number of smartphone at 23 books. Second highest is probably... Probably Death Punch for Epsi. That one's got about 17 books for that one. For that one. But that's my second highest right now. Mm hmm. Yep. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for Stickle Review. Uh, next up is going to be One Piece. Yes, yeah, reviewing the newest episode of the series. I'm going to try to get done the other uh, three anime. Uh, the other two anime coming after, which is Case Closed and Bart. I'm going to try to get those on tonight. If I don't get time, I might have to save it for tomorrow. It's possible to say at least I might have to save it for tomorrow. I'm not really looking forward to it, but it's going to have to be that way. But I can definitely get one piece in case it goes no problem. It just basically, it's barred till that's the issue. Okay, next video. Bye.